Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to copy the data in columns to separate worksheets. And in this example we only have three columns but we could have many more and using a macro would be very helpful. So let's see how to do that. Go into the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module and the macro is going to be copy columns to sheets for example. And we're going to need a couple of variables here, and the first one is going to be the reference worksheet as a worksheet object variable. Then we will need the columns, I'm going to call it call, as for column, as a range object variable. And we'll need another variable for, for the name of each new worksheet. Now we set the reference worksheet as the active sheet. And we do that because when we start looping through the columns and adding new sheets, every new worksheet will become the active sheet. So we have to always refer back to the initial worksheet. In this case, we only have one worksheet, sheet one. But if we have more, we can define here which worksheet is our reference worksheet. Then we start a for each loop and for each call, that's the variable we declare up here as a range in the reference worksheet used range and used range is a very helpful property that will give us that will return only the range with data and then we're going to loop across the columns so we add columns so again used range for this worksheet will be just this and we're going to be looping through each column in that range. And now we're going to get the header of each column to be the name of the new worksheet. So, so the first sheet will be electronics, the second will be health, and the third will be home. So that's going to be the WS name as reference WS.cells row one and call dot column and we get the value. So that's going to get the value in the first cell for each column. Now we will add a new worksheet and we're going to assign that to a new object variable WS with sheets.add and I didn't declare that one so let's put it up here and declare it as a worksheet. And now with WS, we're going to change the name. So it's going to have this WS name that we just defined up here. And we're also going to change the tab color. And let's have a different color for each sheet. So then we will use color index. And the index is going to come from the column number plus 3 and I add plus 3 because otherwise the first sheet is going to be white or black because those are the numbers for color index 1 and 2 and 3 is red so the first so the first sheet is actually going to be 3 plus 1 4 and that's green and then it's going to be blue yellow and then the other colors in the color index scale which I don't which I don't know by heart but you can get the list with all the colors in my blog. I'm leaving the link in the description. Now we end the width here, and finally we are gonna we're gonna copy that column. But we are not gonna copy the entire column. We will copy only the data after the header, because the worksheet is gonna have the header as a name. So we're gonna just add the rest of the data. So that would be call dot offset starting one row below the first cell and zero columns. We copy that and the destination, as you see, the destination attribute here for the copy method of the range object is going to be the new worksheet, which is WS dot starting, starting in range A1, for example. But you can change that, of course. And if you want to copy the entire column, not just the data after the header then you just remove the offset 
uncopy the entire column or or set the offset to zero but but yeah it's just better just to remove the offset property from here and finally we move to the next column so in this case it's gonna copy three columns So let's run the macro and see how that works. And as you see, we have created three new worksheets with the three names of the headers for each column. And each worksheet has the contents from that column. Electronics, health, and home. And that's how we copy columns to separate sheets in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.